Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much depending on your location, please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news updates. Give us the land you promised us. We care is persecuting us. Fulani community, that's Tinibo. Now, during their zonal and national consultative meeting held at the Nikon Lazio Hotel Abuja on Monday, the 15th day of April 2024, the traditional and spiritual leaders of the Fulani communities in Nigeria lamented how the current government under Tinibu is on a wide rampage of ethnic profiling of many Nigerian tribes, including or particularly the Fulani tribe. Yes, the Fulani. So we so said Tinibu and Wike, they are persecuting Fulani tribe. So they voted for because of this issue of graze, grazing reserve. So they need grazing reserve, the Fulani community. And they voted for Tinibu. And now, Tinibu appointed Wiki to persecute the Fulanis. Addressing pressmen after the exhaustive meeting, now the national president of this uh, traditional and uh, spiritual leaders of the Fulani, called Ado, Ali Yola, said, they had mobilized full bears, full any in millions and cast their votes for Tinibu after they had a meeting with him before the presidential election when he was the sole candidate of the All Progressive Congress. Yes. He boasted that their help to mount vigorous campaigns for Tinibu to succeed in the presidential charade in 2023 was the fulfillment of the traditional oath they took in February and who wholeheartedly delivered on that election day. Yes. Now, he recalled that the Fulani had a meeting with Tinibu on a cold February evening on the campaign trail where he spent quality time interacting with them. Yes, the Fulani community, particularly like these traditional and spiritual leaders across the country, it was a national movement that ensured a massive vote for his candidacy within the Fulani community in Nigeria. Yes. In his statement, quote, it is, with pri it is with utmost pride that we recount the huge success recorded at the post in 2023. Our recent concern is the onslaught of the FCT minister's unilateral unconstitutional impunity with which he pronounced a revocation of the management contract of our patron, Senator Ahmad Abaka Mo Alahidi, who is also the convener of Adawa New Agenda. This profiling is contrary to a promise made by Mr. President on the campaign trail where he assured the Fulani community of fair hearing and promotion of the welfare of the Fulani tribe alongside other Nigerians. The targeting of our patron, Senator Ahmad Abaka Mo Alahidi, but the minister is a slap on our face, and we are very concerned that the action of the minister is putting a wedge in the support we give to you, Mr. President. The minister did not follow due process, and the subsidizing contract was illegally revoked by a newspaper publication. This injustice, impunity, and character assassination against our patron is something that can cannot be accepted in democratic society. Where was weekend when our patron Senator Ahmad Mualihidi mobilized the adults and hosted the, the then presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinibu? Accompanied by the Chief of Staff Femi Bajabia Mila, the NSA Malam Nuhuri Badu, the APC Chairman Abdullahi Omar Ganduje, the Deputy Senior President Senator Jibril Baru, Baru, Minister of Defense Abaka Badaru, the NACON Chairman Barista Jalal Arabi, they said to the VP Aliyu Umar Modibo, among other prominent leaders of the current administration at the same International Conference Center, to make a pact with the Fulani community leading to the resounding sources at the polls. We all know that the minister, that Minister Wicker was then and still is in the opposition party, proudly a card carrying member of PDP. And what is Doing is more fighting President Bola Ahmed Tinibo. We remind the President to fulfill the promises he made to the Fulani community.
community regarding the setting of a livestock agency to cater for the migrant cattle areas to make the name of the Fulani a very respectable name and provide social welfare for them alongside other Nigerians. We are concerned that such an onslaught on our leaders is a direct repudiation of the effort that we contributed to bringing your administration to power. We kindly urge you to use your good office to call Minister Wicked to order or remove him from the office he occupies to avoid the negative impact he is creating for your administration. We look forward to your very positive intervention as we continue to pledge our support and loyalty for the continued success of the Bakindo of Wubai, Nigeria. His Excellency Bola Matinibu Jisefara should lead this great country of a good people. End of quote. Now, this is what the full the community is. They are reminding Tinibu of the earth, the earth, the agreement. Yes. Of giving the full the community Nigerian land. That's the indigenous Nigerians, their land. We want to give it to the Fulani community because we want to win election. That's what the promise he made to them. Yes, build up to the election because they were desperate to become president to rule. So we have seen what they're doing. We have seen the desperation. Desperation, the economy has not dived. Yes, the insecurity is exacerbated. So that's the desperation. Desperation to do what? To kill innocent people. Every day they are being murdered by Fulani henchmen, by bandits, by terrorists. Hunger destroying people, killing them, taking them to the early graves. Okay? Diseases that will be treatable. Killing people every day. So, uh, the, the point is that Tidibu went into agreement with the Fulani community to give them land. That's why he have directed, has directed that, oh, all the state governors must provide land for ranching. He made a directive, he issued a directive. Yes, when he went to the Niger State. Yes, to commission a project. State governors provide land for Riga. That's what Inro said. You have seen it. Because he made a promise, not just promise, they went into agreement with this Fulani community. Say, vote for him. Massively, and today they are demanding for that. So give us our land. You gave us, you promised us. That's how they'll be going around and signing, you know, mutual agreement to this element, and they'll be causing confusion. The same agreement, why signed with them? Okay, that one not be even agreement only. That one is beyond agreement. Why? Oh, it's beyond agreement because there was a calculated attempt. They were on standby mode, yes, to wait for if Bwari was not declared, you know, they started to unleash. Yes, they are not or innocent Nigerians, and, but it was averted by Jonathan's uh, you know, acceptance of that charade, the result of that charade they conducted. Massive regret in the north. So that is it. They are demanding for the agreement to be reached, the agreement to be 